Hello, Travis Huppert here again, uh, Naughty by Nature on Facebook. It's going to walk through a demonstration on how to use the uh, Perfect Turks head mandrel. Um, these are the three versions we reviewed earlier that <clears throat> are being carried by Mr. Russ Lawson with Jig Pro Shop. Um, he currently has these three models, three different sizes available. Um, but I thought I'd walk through kind of how you set these up, how you use them. Um, so on the half inch, you can see we've already installed some pins on the bottom for what I would call a long four byte tie. Um, so we're using the row of 12, as you can see here. <coughs> if you're using 12, that means you're gonna skip every third hole gets a pin. Uh, 12 divided by four is three, so that tells you every third hole you need to put a pin in to get to your four bytes. Uh, the pins are pretty simple. These are half inch long set screws uh, that fit into the pre-drilled holes in the mandrel. Uh, it's simple to install and remove if you don't drop them. What you might notice on your new mandrel when you get them is that these pins can be a little bit tight the first couple times you're installing them. Um, it's kind of like a little breaking period. Once you've used it a few times, um, the holes tend to loosen up and you can just hand install these. Um, some of these holes, even on these, I haven't used before, so you have to take your little wrench, a uh, 16th inch wrench that comes with these screws. Uh, very simple to install. You don't even need to put them that tight. Um, just just like light snug against it and that collar won't move. Um, it does a couple things. It holds your cord to for your bites, uh, spaces everything out perfectly evenly, and it also pins the collar so they don't move while you're tying. One more here, and that's it. That's all it takes to set it up, and then you're ready for your tie. Um, if you want to do a smaller tie, obviously as we discussed before, you just slide the collars closer. You know, depending on how many leads you go with, uh, will determine the spacing. What I typically do once I have it set up, I like to I like to label my pins <clears throat> so I can keep track of my cords much easier. So I install just a little bit of masking tape right above the collar where I'm going to tie. And I would just label these one through four and match them on the bottom. See, it's pretty simple just to write down your bites. Um, you don't want to be writing on the tubes. Masking tape's pretty disposable. It doesn't leave a residue. And that would be the last step uh, before you start tying. And you can see on this example, this is important to know with tying Turks heads, that the pins from top to bottom here are in a straight line. So that only works if you have an even number of leads. Um, if you get to an odd number of leads, the pins stagger. Um, here's a good reference book I like. It's called the Turks Head Cookbook. Uh, I use it for lots of things, but I showed a couple examples in here. So you could see, um, this first pattern here has an odd number of leads. And as you see, the bites do not stack vertically top to bottom, they're offset. Um, <clears throat> the same number of, of, or I guess, with an even number of leads, like this one on the bottom, you could see the bites do in, in fact stack straight vertically. So that's important when you're setting these up to understand are you tying an even or odd number of leads. Um, for example, what I have going on in this one, you can see this is a six byte lead, six byte Turks head. Um, got everything in, all my all my pins, got my thing labeled, and got my tie complete. <coughs> what you can see here on this one though is the pin stagger. They're they directly offset or they're offset to each other from top to bottom. Uh, this is a five lead tie, um, and that's what makes your crossings uniform and neat. Um, if you try to tie this with your pins straight up and down on an odd number of leads, it gets crooked. Um, one other thing to note, <clears throat> we do use half inch screws. You could probably get away with a three eighths for these, um, but what I have found with the 550 paracord, should you choose to double the tie or add additional cords to make the pattern bigger, um, once you start doubling paracord across these pins, you're really going to want that little bit of added length to help hold your cords um, so they don't come off. The 3 eighths, what I have found is when you're doubling it, sometimes 
this cord will ride up and it won't stay in place. Um, with the longer pins, even if it comes up, it's held in place quite nicely. Um, again, <clears throat> these are simple to set up, simple to use, uh, but very powerful tools. Um, once your tie is complete, simply remove the pins, take your masking tape off. Um, once you get the pins out of the way, you can just slide the collars out of the way. Uh, the whole pattern then just slips off into your hand. Uh, take it from here, right to your object, and tighten it up on there. Um, it's a pretty simple tool. Like I said, it's very powerful though. Tons of settings, adjustment, bike counts, lengths, uh, or leads rather. Um, very, very versatile tool. Um, the other thing, <clears throat> what I do a lot of times, is if I'm going to take something for the day, You'll notice there is capacity inside the tube. And you can turn this into a pretty neat kind of everyday carry feature. You can take excess cord, fit it in there, take your fids, whatever you need. If you got fids you want to put in there, and then you take these end caps fit these onto your tube you got set screws I carry mine in a little uh, container like this uh, with a cap so they don't spill out those can go right in there as well um, take everything you might need for a day for a weekend trip whatever uh, these home these end caps here are available most every hardware store they fit pretty snug onto the tube um, you can just throw this into a backpack whatever um, and then you have everything with you stored inside your tube as another idea of how to use these. Um, once again, I'm Travis. Um, if you got any questions, you can visit my Facebook page, Naughty by Nature. Feel free to hit me up. Um, and if you do get one and you do some ties, please share those on my page so I can see how they're being used. Uh, thanks again and happy tying.